Good evening and welcome to the public hearing for the design project on State Road 44 West Dixie Avenue from State Road 25 US 27 14th Street to State Road 500 US 441 in Leesburg, Lake County, project number 430651-1-52-01. It is Thursday, August 4th, 2016. The project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation District 5 is Mr. Nazaru Isaac. With us this evening are various members of the Florida Department of Transportation. A transcript is being made of all oral proceedings and will be a part of the public record for this project. At the conclusion of the presentation, attendees who completed a speaker request card will be given an opportunity to speak into a microphone to make comments. Any questions will be answered after the public hearing portion of this meeting. If you did not pick up a card at the registration desk, project staff will distribute cards to anyone wishing to give a verbal statement. If you do not wish to speak publicly, you may also make a comment directly to the court reporter after the presentation. This public hearing is being held in accordance with Florida Statute Section 339.155 Section 335.199, and Section 120.525. This public hearing was advertised consistent with federal and state requirements and is being conducted consistent with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. This hearing is being held to give all interested persons the opportunity to express their views relative to this project. Notice of this public hearing was published in the Orlando Sentinel Lake Zone on July 10th and July 25th, 2016. Public participation at this hearing is encouraged and solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Should you wish to express any concerns regarding FDOT compliance with Title VI, please contact either Jennifer Smith, the District 5 Title VI Coordinator at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 506, DeLand, Florida 32720, phone 386-943-5367, email jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us, or Jacqueline Paramar, the State Title VI Coordinator at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399, phone 850-414-4753, email jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. Or you may use one of the forms available in English, Spanish, and Creole at the registration table. The purpose of the public hearing is to share information about the Roadway Improvements Design Project on State Road 44. This public hearing also serves as an official form to give you the opportunity to express your opinions and concerns about this project. The City of Leesburg, together with the Lake Sumter County Metropolitan Planning Organization, have requested roadway improvements to this segment of State Road 44. The proposed improvements include the resurfacing of the roadway, sidewalk improvements at crossings, and the addition of a median separating opposing traffic directions. This median will act as a traffic calming device, will reduce the number of angle crashes on the corridor, and create a refuge for pedestrians crossing the roadway. As previously mentioned, this project addresses State Road 44 West Dixie Avenue from State Road 25 US 27 14th Street to State Road 500 US 441 as shown on the project location map. The Florida Department of Transportation, the City of Leesburg, and the Lake Sumter Metropolitan Planning Organization conducted a traffic calming improvements concept study for this segment of West Dixie Avenue, including a walking audit in 2015. Several deficiencies were identified along the corridor regarding pavement conditions, vehicular operations, and pedestrian safety. A resurfacing project was planned for this roadway, but as a result of the study, the city and the MPO requested the addition of the median. 
Sidewalks and curbs are damaged throughout the corridor, and the existing pavement is also deteriorating. These conditions are both operational and safety concerns. The addition of a median traffic separator eliminates most angle crashes by restricting the left turn movements at certain locations, reducing the number of conflict points, and acting as a traffic calming device. Signal placement, timing, and turn lane striping were all analyzed to determine the safest and best operational conditions. With the number of recreational facilities in the area and nearby schools, many pedestrians utilize West Dixie Avenue. The placement of a median along the corridor helps to deter mid-block crossing and provides a refuge for those pedestrians crossing the roadway. Any roadway improvements must comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. The existing conditions on this portion of West Dixie Avenue are deficient in several areas and will be upgraded to accommodate these requirements, including pedestrian crossings and signals. The existing roadway will be milled and resurfaced. Sidewalk and curb repairs are proposed at certain locations. A 14-foot median will be added to the center of the roadway in applicable areas with properly spaced median openings. Design plans showing the proposed medians in more detail are available here this evening. All work will take place within the existing right-of-way. Further improvements to the corridor include the reconstruction of deficient curb ramps and pedestrian crossings so as to comply with the ADA Act of 1990, including the addition of detectable warning devices and updated pedestrian signals. Damaged and constricted sidewalks will be repaired or replaced. During construction, a small segment of West Dixie Avenue, as shown on the map, may be temporarily closed for a short time to allow for the installation of a new drainage pipe. June Drive would be utilized as a detour. The department will make every effort to minimize the disruption to surrounding properties and to the traveling public during construction. The changes being proposed are part of what we call access management planning, which deals with the location, design, and operation of driveways, median openings, and street connections. If you have more questions about access management, the Florida Department of Transportation has produced an access management brochure. It is written in a question and answer format where commonly asked questions are answered in a way that is easy to understand. Copies of this brochure are available here this evening, or you can download a PDF file of the brochure from FDOT's access management website. The design for this project is currently underway and is expected to be complete by June of 2017 with construction anticipated to begin in August of 2017. Construction costs are estimated at $3.6 million. The Department of Transportation values your opinion. A court reporter is present to record a statement from anyone wishing to do so. Please give us your comments by submitting a speaker request card found at the registration table or by filling out a comment card and either dropping it in the comment box or returning it by mail to the address on the card by August 15, 2016. If you do not feel comfortable speaking in front of an audience, you may make a statement directly to the court reporter after the presentation. You can also give us your input by emailing nazaru.isaac at dot.state.fl.us. All comments, whether written or oral, will become part of the project's public record. We will now pause to collect any speaker request cards from audience members wishing to make a statement for the record. We ask that you limit your comments to three minutes, and please remember that we will not be answering any questions at this time. The project staff will be available at the displays after the formal presentation to answer any questions you may have. We will now call out the names of individuals who have filled out a speaker request card in the order we have received them. When you come to the microphone, please state your full name, your street address, and then give your statement for the court reporter to record. If you have any questions or would like more information about this project, 
please contact Mr. Nazaru Isaac at the address or email shown on this slide, or you may call him at 386-943-5547. You can also keep up to date with this project as well as others in the area by checking the cflroads.com website. Thank you for taking the time to attend this hearing and we appreciate your participation. We look forward to receiving your comments on this project.